Kukuma Media's Policy, Amtabi Shomulikai, researcher and analyst Professor Raymond Sadna, joins me to unpack his latest column titled ANC in Minority, trying to understand the path ahead. You are critical of making very detailed agreements before coalitions or governments of national unity. Are this not necessary in order to avoid the problems that such local arrangements have been encountering? Well, when I wrote that, I was thinking that the longer the agreement, the more rigid they are, and it means that you interrupt people when they're doing tasks by uh, legalisms. See, But what I've seen from what I've read of the talks that are on the go, uh, a lot of the uh, things that I would have considered very long parts of agreements they can stay in the sense that uh, if the ANC and DA and other parties have different interpretations, they will argue over those. I'm hoping that there will be maturity. And I don't think that my criticism was 100% fair. I think it does have truth in it from my own experience that if you have a long list of requirements and all this, you can hardly get off the starting block. But I think they will, I'm hoping they will find one another and be able to do the work for which people voted for them. And you are critical of both the ANC and DA. So what does this mean for an agreement where they may be the main players? And also you question both of their credibility. Well, I've been proved wrong <laughs> with the first one in the sense that they did carry out an interview in a very good, a very mature way. And um, I think that they, they, they were very restrained if they had any reservations about talking to people who were almost enemies a short while ago. They didn't show it. They were all very courteous. And my sense is that it was not fair what I said. Well, when I wrote that, I was thinking that the longer the agreement, the more rigid they are. And it means that you interrupt people when they're doing tasks by uh, legalisms. See, But what I've seen from what I've read of the talks that are on the go, uh, a lot of the uh, things that I would have considered very long parts of agreements, they can stay in the sense that uh, if the ANC and DA and other parties have different interpretations, they will argue over those. I'm hoping that there will be maturity. And I don't think that my criticism was 100% fair. I think it does have truth in it from my own experience that if you have a long list of requirements and all this, you can hardly get off the starting block. But I think they will, I'm hoping they will find one another and be able to do the work for which people voted for them. You also question their credibility. Yeah, well, you know, that's something they're more credible than they were before I said that last time, or they're more credible to me. And so I must say that I was a bit hasty. And lastly, Raymond, you refer to provincial government in the Western Cape and the city of Cape Town Metro government as possibly deserving studies of governance to be studied. Yes. Now, uh, when it was first posted uh, on Facebook, someone changed the headline, making out that I had said that... Uh, studying these things will be the way to recover our democracy. Now, I didn't say that. What I said is that one has a governance problem, public service problem. Now, here you have a provincial government and a local metro who have got a, a record of performing well. Now, I haven't studied it myself. I've contacted someone to hear what this person's impressions are. Because my sense is 
We're talking about technical ways of maintaining a government. There are also ethical things, but there may be purely technical ways of monitoring, performing, ensuring that things are done in the correct way, forums for this and so forth. And that was what I thought one one's going to work together with these people, ask them, what is the way that you do X or Y? Because in some or other place, they're having difficulty with this or that. Now, maybe they haven't consciously thought about some of what they're doing, but I think it's unlikely. I think you have that level of purported success coexisting with inequalities because it's not as good uh, in Langa, Kuguletu, and uh, Cape Flats and places like this as it will be in Constantia. Uh, nevertheless, I think there's something to be learned, and I believe that's important. That was Professor Raymond Sutna speaking to Prima Media's policy about ANC in minority, trying to understand the path ahead.